that they want to walk you to. This kind of swallowing of the ego, if you will. Yeah, we all have our different psychologies in terms of interaction, okay? We're all frustrated by different elements of the conversation. Some people find you obnoxious to converse with just because of the language you use, just because of your excessive, I would say, your unnecessary use of elitist code words, or whatever, those guys with the rings, you know, it's like, it's like you're talking a language that doesn't, you know, a little special secret language. Verbiage it just doesn't need to be injected into the conversation. It's not necessary to conveying these ideas. You really don't need to use complex language to get to the root of this mechanism. Common language can be used. So somebody could find that psychologically a barrier. It creates a barrier, it creates a hostility, it creates a fist in their face almost, an obnoxious, I'm better than you, I'm smarter than you, because I know bigger words than you. So that could be to somebody very off-putting. And again, my psychology reacts to, to saying, because the philosophy is in its very nature attempting to reduce, to dissect, to understand, that somehow this reductionism means that it's simplistic are because its conclusions are simplistic, like, yes, it's an amphibian, it fits into this category and has these properties, but somehow this is now simplistic. Now that I have arranged it, I have described it sufficiently in just two paragraphs, that somehow that means the philosophy is itself simplistic, because the mechanism is simplistic. I mean, these kind of bogus accusations are to me very abhorrent, very, I'm very hostile to them. It's a stench I don't like to smell. So yeah, we all have our sensitivities. We all have things we're going to react to. Some people can't stand the cunt. You, know, you say cunt. Oh, fuck. They just wet their pants all over the place. The end of the world has come. So it's just little words. He called me a genitalia. It's all over. I can't think anymore. My brain has to explode because he called me a genitalia. It's all over. The philosophy does involve a kind of insult. You speak of an insult to skin integrity, to the ego, and more interpersonally to civilization itself. That's something you can react to, but it shouldn't be any harder than getting over the idea of Santa Claus or the Easter rabbit or anything else for philosophers. They've already taken these steps. And for nihilists to play these games, for nihilists to say that they have this sensitivity, you know, that you're attacking your traditions or your notions. Nihilists are supposed to be past that. God is dead. Why are you so hostile to the idea that a non-God vision of the world might say, it's a replicating molecule. It's a gladiator war. It doesn't do anything. There's really no point in it. I shouldn't be hostile to the nihilist philosophy.